What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Swift programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about integer and floating point conversion. So let's get started. Now, what I mean about conversion, we can actually convert an integer variable to a floating point variable like a double. Now why do we want to do that? Because we can't uh, normally, um, let's say, add those two variables together. And I'll give you an example. We're going to use constant values here, so we're going to say let uh, 3, let 3 equal integer 3, right? Now we're going to say let red equal a double 0 0.14159, right? I'm sorry, 14159, right? This is a double, a floating point number. Now, let's say... Uh, pi, right, pi, our variable pi, equal 3 plus red, right? Now, let's print this out on the screen. So let's use the print ln and open and close parentheses. Inside this, oops, open and close parentheses. Inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in the variable name that we want to print out on the screen. So I want to print that variable pi on the screen. So let's hit play. Now we got an error here. It failed because these two data types are not compatible. One's a uh, integer, the other one is a double. Now, how do we convert uh, integer to double and double to integer, or integer to floating point and floating point to integer? Easy. I'll show you how to convert integer to floating point first. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is after this here. So we actually want to convert a uh, variable three into a double because red is a double already, right? So a variable three has an integer value of three. So we're going to enclose variable three in a open and close parentheses, right? Now outside of this open and close parentheses without any space, we're going to type in the data type we want to convert it to. We want to convert it to a double. So we're going to type in capital D-O-U-B-L-E, right? So now what it's doing is the variable pi is going to hold the uh, value of our double variable three. It's going to turn variable three into a double. So it's going to make it 3.0 basically. And uh, it's going to add red to that. So red plus 3.0, it's going to give us the answer. So it should give us the answer of 3.14159. So let's press play here and see what happens. And it printed out 3.14159. Pretty cool, right? Now we can do the opposite. We can convert a floating point into an integer. Now let's just delete this here, right? And delete this closing uh, parentheses here. Now we're back to square one. Now we want to convert variable red, which is a double to an integer. So again, we just enclosed the variable that we want to convert. And outside of the open parentheses, right next to it with no space, we're going to type in the data type. We want to convert it to an integer. So we're going to type in i n T, right? So now let's hit play and see what happens. And it printed out three. Pretty cool, right? All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.